Okay, so welcome to part 5 of this video on uh, how to use the law of total expectation, a practical example of how to use it. Okay, so uh, we have agreed that the expected value of our random variable y, i.e. the average point at which you will make the second break, is equal to the integral from 0 to 1, i.e. the integral over all x values that you can take on, which is the integral over all points at which you can make the first break, times the expected value of y, given that x is equal to one of these specific little x values, i.e. the expected value of um, where the second break will be made, given that you know where the first break was made and that it was made at this value little x and then times that by the probability density function that, um, that the point at which you made the first break was little x. So now all we need to do is calculate these two things and then do the integral. Right, so the first thing to do is calculate the expected value of y given that x is equal to little x. And that was equal to this integral over all values that y can take on. Um, which is the integral from 0 to x, of the conditional probability density function that, you, that y is equal to this value little y given that x is equal to little x times that value of y. And we also said that the uh, probability density function, this conditional probability density function of y given that big x was equal to little x was 1 over x. So now let's substitute in 1 over x in here and then perform that integral. So, we need to now perform the integral from 0 to x uh, of, now we substitute in the probability density function, this conditional probability density function, which is 1 over x, and then we times it by y, and we need to do this dy. And this is going to give us the expected value of y given that big X is equal to little x. Now, as far as this calculation is, con well, as far as this integral is concerned, little x is just some constant. So you can pull that out, basically. 1 over little x is just a constant. Now we're performing the integral from 0 to x of y dy. Now, we apply the second fundamental theorem of calculus, which tells us that if we want to calculate an integral like this, we need to find the antiderivative of y, which is y squared over 2, and evaluate it between the endpoints. So we need to do 1 over x times the antiderivative of y, which is y squared over 2, and we need to evaluate that between uh, 0 and x. So now substitute this in, and we get that it's equal to 1 over x times x squared over 2, so this, this uh, antiderivative evaluated at x minus the antiderivative evaluated at 0, which is 0 squared over 2. So what you overall now get is that this is x squared over 2 times 1 over x, which cancels down to um, x divided by 2. So we have now found uh, the conditional expectation. This is x over 2. So now all we need to do is substitute that in to the law of total expectation here, along with the, um, the uh, probability density function of uh, the random variable big X, which is just the probability density function that the first break is at a certain point, which we already agreed was uniformly distributed. And it was uniformly distributed on the interval 0 to 1. So this probability density function is just 1. Right, so now, if we want to calculate uh, the expected value of Y, what we need to do is integrate over all values that x can take on from 0 to 1 of the expected value of y given that x is that specific value, which is x over 2, times the probability, marginal probability density function of big X as a function of little x, and I've just told you that that's 1, so, and then we just need to integrate that with respect to x. So now we get the integral from 0 to 1 of x over 2 dx. Now, uh, the second fundamental theorem of calculus comes to the rescue again. So this is going to be equal to the antiderivative of x over 2, which is x squared over 4, evaluated between the interval 0 and 1. So that will give us 1 
if we substitute in 1 here, we get a quarter, and if we substitute in 0, we get minus 0 over 4. So that's just 0. So basically, we get the expected value of y, the expected point at which you make this second break, is a quarter. So if I draw the picture, <coughs> the, if this is the stick here, from 0 to 1, the expected point at which you make the second break is going to be a quarter. And that fits quite well with our intuition, because you would imagine breaking, making the first break, and the expected value of the first break would be a half. And then when you make the second break, the expected value will be um, in the quarter, will be a, quarter, a half of a half. So that fits quite nicely with our intuition.